Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Hey, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on your bell notifications, that way you get notified when I actually post a video. Hey, I have another great product review, and of course, from Burger Motorsports. Now, if you're looking at this and you may be wondering what the heck this is, or you may already know what this is, I'm gonna tell you more about it in this video right here. This is the cow filter from Burger Motorsports. Now, the reason why you wanna upgrade your cow filters to the Burger Motorsports 1.1 is you'll save 10 pounds of weight when you remove the cow and do all that. I'll go into the DIY, I'm gonna show you just how fast and how easy it is uh, to actually take it out and install these. So we'll do that here in a second. But like I said, you're gonna save your 10 pounds of weight. Uh, you're gonna have improved engine cooling just overall in the, in the area. So you have that. And the, probably the biggest thing that I'm gonna enjoy after having these on the car is not having to remove the cow every single time. If you already know or if you've seen some of my other previous videos or know a lot of the installation stuff, you have to remove the cow pretty much on every little thing that you have to do to be able to gain access to whatever you're trying to gain access to. And it's just annoying because you have to take off the everything. It doesn't take me that long to do it, but it's just yet another thing that you have to do and take off. Obviously that's eliminated when you put these in because it clears up that whole area. So if you're looking to pick up one of these, I'm gonna put a link in the description below, take it right to the website. This is for the E90 series, E91, E92, E93, of course. Fits the one series and also the X1. So you have some options there and uh, you can go, go from that point. Uh, these are washable, so you would use the SMB filter kit to be able to wash these and re-oil these, uh, but uh, that's another savings there. That way you're not having to buy an actual cabin filter every 30,000 miles that BMW specifies. All right guys, for the DIY, I'm gonna show you just how easy this is and how quickly you can do this at your home. Of course, you have both cow filters, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side, and then of course, your, you need a flathead screwdriver, and then eight millimeter socket, obviously on the extension, 3H drive, that works just perfect. So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and pull these out here right now. So just you just pull back, take your flathead, clip, 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 clip. Go ahead and pull out your wires here. Get, get those out of the way. So once you got that done, move over here. If you have the BMW alarm, just pull out, pull it back, put it over here. We're gonna unsnap these two pieces. Pull that, put that aside. You wanna make sure you remove your washer fluid hose. Get out of that there. Pull these two out. Move your cabin filter sensor. You won't be needing this anymore. Now, when you're actually running the actual cows, uh, you can just go ahead and put this like down in here. It's fine uh, that way, because you won't have a spot to put it at anywhere. All right, remove your DME cover just like that. You got that exposed. Put that aside. Then it's just a matter of, you have an eight millimeter right over here. Hold your actual cow on. Go ahead, you have another one on this side, the driver's side bolt. You're gonna remove all the cabin filter screws right off of here. Jack it up. Yeah, we're gonna pull your cabin filter off. Put that to the side. So cabin filter is actually off. To remove the cowl, you wanna be careful, you have clips here, here, and here. You wanna pull out, and then up, and then out. There we go. So as you can see here, this is my Burger Motorsports oil catch can. Put a link at the top there. That could take you to the DIY that I did for that piece. And then of course the unboxing. All right, so I got one on here, right here. Uh, they do actually go one way on each side. So as you can see, it's gonna be, might be hard to see, but how it's smaller here and then it gets bigger here. As you can tell, the bigger end is over here and then the smaller end is right here. They have to squeeze over the part here 
So this is where they become very good with sealing any kind of water out because it's got that, it's kind of like a rubber gasket. But uh, they are definitely snug in there, to say the least. All right, so after pushing, pressing that one on, you're good there. They are definitely very firm. If you do not have screws or your screws broke or whatever be the case, you don't even need to put screws in them. Uh, they seal just fine without, but since I already have them, let's go ahead and add them back in. So just a matter of popping them in, getting them started. Check your eight millimeter socket. All right, and that's it. You have just done the DIY to put in your Burger Motorsports cow filters. All right guys, that was a simple DIY to save 10 pounds of weight, improve your overall cooling efficiency within the whole engine bay it itself, free up some space, of course, and just overall better sounding once you actually install these. If you're looking to pick these up, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Take you right to Burger Tunes website, that way you can add it to your cart, get your fast shipping, great customer satisfaction. As I always mention, very pleased with these guys for everything that they do and as far as the products that they bring out for the BMW community. And then as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll check you out in the next video. Take care, see ya.